crisp fall feeling in the air. Why am I surfing a huge wave of bombosity? Is it because last night I had to say goodbye to my midriff tops and put them in storage? Why do I take seasonal shifts of fashion so personally? Why can't I just let it go? Why can't I be carefree and lighthearted like everyone else? Hey, listen to the song I just wrote. We have to use this tonight in our set at the whiskey. I'm Frank Gifford's love child. He pretends I don't exist. But if I ever meet him, I'm gonna kiss him with my fist. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, man, that is so killer. What key do I play it in? Key. <laughs> Compose, Cher. You'll see your summer favorites again next year. <gasps> Unless they're not in style. <gasps> oh, I refuse to be one of those desperate people you see clinging to a fashion choice just because it looks really good on them. You almost made me drop my Stratocaster. Oh, I'm really sorry. Um, I just wasn't... What? Thinking? Oh, did somebody leave their brain at the mall? <laughs> it was an accident. And not to assign any blame, but your guitar handle was kind of sticking out. So now it's my fault, huh? You better watch it, Goldilocks. I own a blowtorch, and I know where you live. <laughs> Why would I care if you own a blowtorch? Oh. to the school for two years and not have noticed a girl with muppet colored hair well that's because she just got kicked out of catholic school for beating up a nun what her name is audrey but she spells it o-d-d-ree she comes from a really rich family and her mom just ran off with her dad's boyfriend it's a totally sally jesse worthy family unit Cher. no way and last year when she caught her boyfriend going out on her she torched his miata that's uh, an extreme spot cha not to mention a full-on steal from waiting to exhale. If I ever caught Murray cheating on me, I would do something creative. Like charge a week at Canyon Ranch on his mom's visa. Dee, people usually strike back when they've been hurt themselves. Maybe she just needs somebody to be nice to her. Cher, you've been watching too many episodes of Touched by an Angel, which in my opinion would be one. Whatever. I am going to bring Audrey a peace offering. All right, just make sure she can't smack you with it. What the? Check it out, Sean. This is gonna be bigger than the hula hoop. Bigger than the hacky sack. This is going down in history as the greatest invention of the latter half of the 20th century. You said the same thing about the amazing water knife. Anyway, it's shaped like a boomerang. It comes back to you like a boomerang. But if it hits you in the head, it's not gonna hurt. Why, you ask? No, I didn't. Sean, would it kill you to play along? Why? Because it's filled with beans. And that's why I call it the Beanerang. Why don't you go ahead and take this bad boy for a test drive? <laughs> Will it ever come down? <laughs> Audrey, um, as a gesture of peace and goodwill, I... Oh, 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 oh. What? You ruined my boots! Do you have a death wish or something? I am so sorry. Um, well, I could either get them cleaned or I could just buy you a new pair. You can't replace them. They once belonged to Jean Simmons. Oh, I don't know her. Her? Try Jean Simmons. 
rock legend, Kiss. <laughs> My father's ex-boyfriend was his makeup guy. These boots were priceless. Audrey, I feel so bad. Not as bad as you're gonna feel. As you touch me again, you're dead. Poor a wits. <laughs> Here, you've just been beamed with the beanerang. Now, are you in any pain whatsoever? Not yet. Chee -chee. <laughs> I should just order my Ferrari right now. Wait, you're responsible for this? It didn't hurt. <laughs> oh, thanks a lot, Murray. It made me spill a latte all over Audrey's boots and she went kookaroo on me. Audrey, the one in that scuzzy girl band? Nasty planet. That's her. Woo, she's legendary. Word is, she once put a rat in a burrito and served it to the girl that was scamming on her boyfriend. I felt overcome by a profound sense of doom. Just like the time Daddy signed up for line dancing at our local Jewish community center. Should I try to talk to her again? Oh, Cher, give it up. The girl has perma PMS. I need to just go over there and slap her into spring break. Doesn't she know that whole Courtney love look is so tired? Uh, hello. Can we just discuss the psychotic ensemble you're wearing today? I mean, it's just so bozo-esque. If someone had seen the runway shows on the Fashion Channel, they'd know that it's the new Harlequin look. It's very next year. But of course you wouldn't have come across it since Contempo hasn't done a knockoff yet. Oh, you know what? I did see this outfit on television. It was on a Jack in the Box commercial. Just looking at you makes me want to order fries. <laughs> Whatever. Great. Okay, students. Today we continue our co-ed self-defense series I know you all enjoyed last week's guest speaker, the fabulous Jackie Chan. <laughs> well, today we have a demonstration from an incredible athlete. I know her from my women's group. But you probably know her as TV's American Gladiator. Oh, could it be Lace? <sighs> Pray with me now. Let's give it up for the only woman on TV who can crush walnuts with her thighs. Well, besides Brett Butler. <laughs> Please welcome Lace. We love you, Cher. It is the power of prayer, Murray. Sean, do you think I could talk Lace into making beanerang throwing an American gladiator sport? Murray, I hate to break it to you, but the beanerang is something you made up. It's not a real sport, like trying to knock your opponent off a balance beam with a giant Q-tip. Now, Lace and I are going to demonstrate the most popular of the American Gladiator events, knocking your opponent off the balance beam with a giant Q-tip. Ready, Lace? Let's do it. <laughs> Let's mix it up. Coach? Are you all right, Coach? Yeah, yeah, I'm perfectly fine. Luckily, I know how to roll, so I didn't get hurt. I learned that in my brief career as a stunt double for Jodie Foster. Uh, let's not go there, Coach. Good call. All right, now that you've seen how it's done, let's have two of the girls try to do it. Um, Cher and, just for the hell of it, Amber. Whoa! My ensemble is way too restrictive. I'd hate to have to build a school if I ripped something. Yeah, well, I hate to shave my armpits, but sometimes you have to do things you don't want to do, like when your sister asked you to put on a bridesmaid's dress. Harriet? Charlene. Oh, don't worry, Jack. I'll hold your clown hat for you. <laughs> Let's go. Whoa, 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 whoa. Lace isn't going to be in this part at all? Uh, I am not wearing that. 
Well, you better if you don't want to get your clock clean. If it's between brain damage and helmet hair, it's not exactly Sophie's choice. Let's rumble. Let's go. I really don't want to break a sweat in this outfit. OK, here's some motivation for you. Whoever knocks the other one off gets an A. Daddy gives me an extra week of vacation for every A. You see it as a hematoma, oh. I see it as a trip to Antigua. Oh. Good. Smack her. Yeah. Oh. Body oh. check her. Unless I could somehow suspend the law of gravity just long enough to get to my car. This latest mishap was not going to result in a funny anecdote someday. Oh! Oh! Good Lord, her lips are turning blue. Relax, that's just the color of her lipstick. Oh. Lunch? Oh. Oh, I am so sorry. Oh. Well, I guess you're probably a little tired of hearing me apologize, but... Save it, Barbie. Meet me at the parking lot, 3 o'clock. I'm going to kick your color-coordinated butt. Sean, you know what this means, right? Yeah. If we don't get out there early, we're going to have terrible seats for this fight. <laughs> Sean, do you think Lace really meant it when she said she was really impressed with the Bina ring? I think she'd have said anything to get you to stop drooling on her. Hello? Could we get back to my doom hood here? Audrey is going to kill me. Oh, should I run away? Should I hire a bodyguard? No. Cher, I took a mini break from thinking about me to come up with a plan for you. What is that annoying sound? Is there a fire drill? Whatever. Cher. Let Audrey punch you right in the nose, then you can sue for a nose job and finally get that bump fixed. What bump? Oh, I see. Well, enjoy your riverfront property on denial. Look, Cher, you do have to stand up to this bully, or else she'll pick on weaker girls. So why don't you just let me teach you some boxing moves that my brothers taught me, OK? Do this. Now, when I throw my left, you block with your right. OK? Ready? Go. Hey, wait, 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 wait. Oh, OK. Do I block and then punch? Or do I punch and then block with my left? <gasps> or should I use both hands? <gasps> is it like some block where more protection is better? Look, look, forget all about boxing and punching. There should be lots of slapping and hair pulling. And you know, clothes getting ripped off is always good. Ooh, ooh, Sean, you know what's even better? What? You could avoid having your outfits ruined if you both fight in bikinis. Oh. You know, for safety, they probably ought to be thongs. Uh, and maybe some oil. Oh, yeah. <laughs> what? Safety oil. I don't get it. Why are all guys such freaks about girl fights? <laughs> <laughs> you want to tell them, or should I? Girl fight tonight. Oh, let me. There's nothing like the sweet science of manicure versus manicure. The thrill of raw estrogen versus raw estrogen. And the undying hope that maybe we'll catch a flash of pity. Do you feel as ridiculous as I do? Oh, please. I feel goofier than you look. I hate this. Here we are in skimpy fantasy outfits. How come guys never imagine us in Supreme Court robes? I really have to talk to Sean and Murray about their fantasies. Like I even have time to be in this heinous objectification of women. I've got a bully to fight. So where is she? Maybe she chickened out. It's gonna be a chick fight. Pow! It's gonna be a chick fight. <laughs> Pow! It's gonna be a chick fight. Pow! Yeah. Let's get ready to chick fight! Uh, but no biting! No biting! Clothes coming off, but no biting! <laughs> Why?
What happened to Blondie? Emergency shoe sale come up? <laughs> <laughs> Look, Audrey. If it were up to me, you'd be spitting teeth right now. My girl Cher has too much class for that. So she told me to give you this. <laughs> A note. <laughs> I knew she'd wimp out. Look, Audrey. I know I RSVP to this fight, but I think we should settle this one on one. I'd call you a bitch, but I think that word demeans women everywhere. You say you know where I live? Prove it, bitch. Oh, sorry. That just slipped out. Be at my house in half an hour. Sincerely, Cher Horowitz. No chick fight? This is sadder than Pamela Anderson hooking up with that Heather Locklear reject, dude. I was so nervous. This was probably going to be the most intense confrontation of my teenage life. I was filled with a sense of dread. It reminded me of the day I had a big geography final and woke up with a pimple the size of Montana. Don't you hate the word pimple? It's just so gross. Like the word moist. Some words just bother me. I think napkin and swordfish are okay, but I really hate the word ointment. And yet, appointment is fine. Go figure. Okay, I guess I'm stalling. <sighs> Sometimes you just have to face the music. Hello, Audrey. I'm not here for hellos. I'm here to wipe this Italian marble floor with you. Horowitz. Look, I know you're really working at this I'm badder than Christian Slater in a Wilshire high-rise persona, but I don't get it. What are you so angry at? At you, you little twit. You've been in my face, violating my space all day. I said I was sorry. Why can't you just move on? You wouldn't understand. You have everything you want. Except, of course, guts. You big wuss. Ugh. Hey, I considered going to that fight. But I thought it'd be better if we did this one on one. No witnesses. I like it. Oh, but before we start, I have this theory about you. I bet you're just angry because people don't listen to you. Hell no, that's not my problem, Oprah. If I'm tense about anything, it's that I have this great band and no one will listen to our demo. Really? Well, I mean, I could probably help with that. One of Daddy's clients is a major music maven. And who would that be? David Geffen. Oh, good guess. Oh, hello, David. It's Cher. No, 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 don't hang up. Cher Horowitz. Listen, I have this demo by a very cool, very alternative girl band. You will? Well, great. I'll send it over tomorrow. Love you. Tell Steve and I say hi. Oh, my God. <laughs> I can't believe it. David Gavin, I feel like I've just been crowned this America. I mean, if I was into all that sexist pageant puke. Oh, I hate that. I mean, I think women should be evaluated for who they are and not how well they can duct tape themselves into a swimsuit. You know, you're not like I thought you were. I thought you were this conceited, arrogant, but usually I would use the B word, but you're right. It does demean women everywhere. Can I ask you something? See, I've heard all these rumors about you, and did you really get kicked out of school for beating up a nun? Hey, she hit me first. Well, how about the rat burrito? No way. I raised rats. That was a bat burrito. <laughs> <laughs> See, I knew if we just talked, we could become friends. Me not punching you out, that's one thing. Us becoming friends, uh, that's a little too TGIF for my taste. Hey, I just said TGIF and taste. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Cher. This little talk didn't work. Were you really ready to fight me? I was ready to do what I had to do. Cool. I respect that.
like you're not gonna need me. No, but thanks for showing up in case I need a backup. Oh, by the way, you wouldn't happen to know anyone who would know how to get a hold of David Geffen, would you? No, but my buddy Nitro might. Dial 1-800-YO-NITRO. Sometimes all a bully needs is love and understanding. Maybe all they were looking for was just someone to reach out to them and really listen. <laughs> hey, Debbie, you do that again, you're dead meat. And sometimes they just need a hard right hook. Memo, major thank you to Lace and a protein gift basket to Nitro. <laughs>